Hey everyone, and welcome to uh, tonight's webinar on Digital Heat FX. Um, tonight we've got Holly again that's going to be talking about doing some really cool stuff with the 9541. Now, if you've been with us today for a few different webinars, we've had kind of a theme going for uh, Dylan's birthday party. We found a graphic in iStock, which is basically this young man that we thought he looked like he was turning eight years old. So all of the uh, decoration technology that we've used today have been based around Dylan's birthday. So the first thing that we did was we embroidered onto the side of a sneaker with the new Avance 1501C 2020. And then we, uh, at four o'clock, we produced the sign using the Muto UV printer. And the, uh, I mean, the quality on this is just incredible. It looks beautiful uh, using the same graphic. And we printed a couple of shirts on the DTG G4, and it was incredibly fast. This is a 39 cent print right here, so that's not too shabby at all. So what we're gonna do today is kind of continue that theme, and Holly's gonna show off some promotional products that you can do uh, with, the, uh, with the 9541 and digital heat effects, which is gonna be great. But as usual, I'm gonna start with the beginning of any of these processes, and that's graphics like this don't grow on trees, so I'm gonna show you where you can work with a company and source your graphics. Yes, okay, awesome. So what you're looking at here is, um, is where you're gonna find the, uh, the blanks for your job. The, one of the first two things that you have to do before you get to the, to the, uh, to the actual end product that you can sell is, um, is find your blanks. So you can go to colemanandcompany.com and, uh, and we now sell wholesale apparel on the, on the Coleman and Company site. So it's the kind of thing where if you've got a digital heat effects and you're going in and buying your paper and you need to get uh, a couple of dozen t-shirts for a job or a cap, if you saw us, we did some great um, 3D puff embroidery on a cap um, last week that turned out great. You can find all of those blanks on colemanandcompany.com. And the idea is that uh, you don't have to sign up for anything. You don't have to have a reseller certificate. You don't have to have a business license. There aren't any of the hoops that you have to jump through with most of the big wholesale apparel sites. So you may as well just order these things from Coldesi. The shirts that you saw were the DT-104. It's our favorite shirt for either printing with digital heat effects or DT. Uh, I want to point out something about Coldesi graphics because, you know, this was a big decision for us. What we wanted to do was, um, was kind of help people that don't have their own graphics program or that haven't learned graphics yet. A lot of our support department time is spent with people that don't understand creating graphics for print or for spangles or rhinestones or embroidery or UV. So, so we spend a lot of time on that. And rather than let you guys dangle out there, you know, trying to find the right images or, or getting graphics created that aren't right for the technology, we started coldessigraphics.com. So um, the story that I always tell, if I can find the right video, is this one where we started with our sales manager and a barbecue um, demigod, um, uh, Joe Smalley, uh, had an Posted. event coming no, up. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna love that. Um, <laughs> he had an event coming up and um, and he, he's got a barbecue team that is the Bond Dogs. And if you see this terrible sketch right here, you'll see that, um, that this is what they started with, okay? This is what they sent over to Cold SE Graphics. And in the end, let's see if I can fast forward. Uh, they ended up with this. So the process back and forth in between, I'm just gonna say that this is not the cheapest graphics or embroidery digitizing service out there. Um, but so far, it's the best that we've found, and, uh, and we stand behind it. Okay, so that is my, my, uh, my commercial for doing things right, for buying great apparel and for getting good digitizing done. I think I'm going to turn it back over to Holly and oh. let her show you what's coming next. Switch it back to the, uh, switch back to the screen. Stop share. All right, Holly. Awesome. Hey guys, thanks again for staying late for, for tonight. I'm the last one of the night at six. Um, I wanted to break it up a little bit tonight and do something different because I feel like I'm on the phone all day and I started as a crafter myself. So 
I'm on the phone all day and the people have big dreams about doing other products other than t-shirts. So I am going to demonstrate the 9541 tonight. We're going to be doing a themed Dylan's birthday frame. Oh, sorry. Themed birthday frame along with this photo printed on cardstock. And we are also going to do a t-shirt. So because wood takes so long to cool, I'm going to go ahead and print my graphic on a gang sheet for my t-shirt and my piece of wood. I'm going to press on the wood and we're going to lay it aside and then I'll print the photo and then we'll do the t-shirt and then hopefully we'll be good to peel the wood. Yeah, so I'm going to flip over now to the print optimizer. That's the software where we pull it in to print from. Okay. I'm going to leave the chat window up there so you can see. Okay. Can you guys see my screen now? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. So I've already, just for the sake of time, because we are doing three little projects, um, I have already pulled this job in. And as you can see, I've got my photo frame at the top and I've got my t-shirt at the bottom. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to go ahead and print this. Guys, we are printing with the 9541. This is a five color printer. It will print up to 13 by 19. I'm only printing on 11 by 17 tonight because I'm doing basically like a youth size shirt and I only needed like a little eight and a half by six for my piece of wood. So I get that question asked a lot. It will take smaller paper. You can also, if you wanted to like only print the piece of wood, you can trim your paper down. You just need to trim your A and your B sheet together. Okay. So I've got my frame on top, my shirt on the bottom, and I'm going to marry these two together. You want to flip me over the heat press? Yeah. All right, sorry. Sorry, it's been a long day. A lot of internet problems too, so hopefully we're getting a good, everything's good. And I don't want you guys to pay attention to like time and temperature because it does vary from printer to printer. Um, I'm gonna let this cook and I'm just gonna describe a little bit about the differences in the three printers. Um, the i550 is our smallest model and that one will print up to eight and a half by 11. The next model up is the 8432, and that one will print up to 11 by 17. He's gonna scroll, because we have 100 seconds for this to marry. Um, both of these guys are four color printers. They're CYMW, and like I said, my 9541 is a CYMKW. Um, cost per print, I get that question a lot. On the 9541 and the 8432, cost to print is about two cents per square inch. It's closer to three to four cents square, uh, per square inch on the i550. The toners are just a little bit smaller. I do actually like to talk about the press a little bit too. I get a lot of calls. Most people have started somewhere in the industry and they already have a heat press. Um, the heat press is a critical part of this whole process. Not so much for putting it on the shirt, but for when you marry the paper, which is what we're doing right now, that's essentially taking the glue from my B sheet and transferring it onto my toner, which is my design. So if it does not have consistent heat and pressure, it will not marry well. Therefore, you will not have any glue on your toner and you're not gonna have it sticking to your shirt. You're gonna have poor results. So keep that in consideration if you are considering um, the digital heat effects. And this is almost ready. And so. I'm just gonna say it because I am, I'm not the salesperson. Uh -huh. uh, you can't use a cheap heat press. No, you can't. You can't use a craft heat press. If you have a really reliable heat press you've, you've been using for 10 years, you can't use that one. Right. Right, it just does not have the precision. We suggest the Hot, Hotronics brand. We know the insides are cold really tightly. So that's gonna give you um, a consistent heat across the platen. And also it has a digital readout for pressure, which I don't know of any other brand that actually tells you the zero to nine where that is. So this, I'm just gonna keep it on my heat. I pull a little corner off so I don't burn my fingers.
kind of awkward because I'm used to standing where Mark is standing, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll make it work. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, that looks great. So basically that's taken the, the glue off of this sheet. I am going to go over to my little paper trimmer here. We're going on a field trip. Yes. I hope you don't get um, <laughs> seasick. I am. Um, this is another awesome tool that I include in all my packages because it cuts very precise. Actually, let's do the edges first. And if I have like a gang sheet of, you know, say 40 or 50 left chest logos, this will lock them into place. So it doesn't let them slide apart. Like if you're using scissors. So what would happen, Holly, if you, if you did not trim the excess? What's the downside? So there's a little bit. Sometimes that B-sheet, I don't know if the camera can get it. Sometimes that B-sheet just leaves a little bit of excess along the edges, and this will transfer to your shirt. Gotcha. So I always trim them up. All right. You guys just type in any questions you Oops. have while we're working here. Throwing stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. It's okay. And I am going to go ahead and trim this snug just because it fits perfectly on the piece of wood. Um, is it easier for me to work? Where do you want me to? Can you get this metal table? It's yeah, easier yeah, for Yeah, absolutely. Back on the metal. You guys are just going to have to get a little motion sick with me again. <laughs> Actually, I can do it. Let's just do it on the heat press. That's sure. a less of a travel. Okay, tell you what, I'll go on this side this time. Okay. Um, the temp was at 275, Beast. And some of the temps, um, I didn't, um, on, the two, on the 9541, sometimes they vary de depending on your region. So um, it'll, it varies anywhere from 265 to 285. So that's kind of one of the things that the, yeah, the text will work out with you. Absolutely. So um, just want to say, uh, oh, okay, where can we buy the cart that sits under the heat press? It's cool. Yeah, we get uh, these things it, all from Uline. It, this is, and this is actually perfect for it. It has casters. Um, it's about, I think it's 215 at Uline. So okay. I'm just going to line this up here. Um, I use this flexible sheet for anything that is not uh, fabric or even thin materials. It just gives me a little bit of play if that wood isn't completely even. Yeah. By the way, we got that frame from Michael's. Yeah. So How just much was a craft store. I think it was a dollar, maybe two. Okay, the, 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 we've got a question. How much is the cost per sheet and can it be found on Coleman & Company? If I'm doing the 11 by 17, the cost per sheet on the 9541 is going to be about three, 375. Um, if I'm doing it on the 8432, it's about $4. So because this is a five toner printer, the toners are larger. Um, it'll give you about eight to 11,000 prints. Um, it actually is more efficient to run. So you save about 30% of your toner. So, Wood takes a minute to cool, so I'm actually just... It already looks neat, though. Yeah, so this, I'm going to just pop it upside down on my metal table so it can cool. Oh, and let's just, I'll go ahead and do the t-shirt. Sure. So these transfers are really, um, digital heat effects is really the, it's got to be the most versatile product in the building. Because you can do t-shirts, you can do... Um, promotional Correct. products you can Oops. print on wood and metal. I mean, there's a huge variety of stuff you can do Sorry all these have presets and The other reason that we use the fusion is because we do a lot of different kinds of transfers Right we do digital heat effects white toner transfers. We've got the spangle lead and the pro spangle machines that are different um, so those all require different temperatures and pressures. This one lets us uh, program all those in. Yes, which is excellent. And you can save it. Like uh, this is set for 9541. I am adjusting because I just went different, but I could set it up for, we've got it set up for the 8432, the 9541. 
So I've already got my t-shirt printed and cut out. I did that on my same sheet. And if you notice uh, too, Holly did not use one paper for hard surface Correct. and another paper same. for a shirt. It's gonna go in 45 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and get my card stock ready. And, um, oh, I was gonna bring this in. And, Cause I get the, the question a lot about painted wood. This is just the cheap paint for Michaels. So you can, I've used stain. Stain works great too. And this is the 59 cent card stock. This printer will hold up to 40 pound card stock. So it does hold a pretty, yeah, pretty heavy. If any guys you want to do business cards or restaurant menus or anything like that, uh, yeah. this printer can handle it. That's one thing that we don't talk about too much. You can print your brochures your, all of and it. your flyers. I mean, and it's a photo there. quality printer. I, I could have used photo paper today, but I was just, just card stock was just easier. Play the cooling game. Okay, I'm gonna move <laughs> over there with you. <laughs> so talk about production a little bit while that while that cools. Oh yeah, because I did that in the first one. Um, so if I were in production with this printer, and I know we're doing three different items here, or or two different items really. I would do all of my mirroring steps first. So get all those out of the way. I would place the transfer on here and just throw it aside because it needs to be cold. So once I'm two or three in, this is cold, I can start peeling. And then I would throw them all in for my finishing step. Yep. <laughs> and if you're still using vinyl, you should be crying right now. <laughs> no, right. Uh, because there was no weeding with that. That looks great. Yeah. It's a little shiny. Yes, it is shiny. When I first take it out, um, I'm gonna put it back in on a high pressure, and that's actually going to push the transfer into my fabric, so it'll give it that 40 to 60 washability. That's another thing in production, so that way you're not switching your heat press a lot. Yep. So I'm gonna put that at about an eight or a nine. B said this is the best printer in the world. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> and because of that fifth color, that true black, it does make it really simple. Like today we're gonna to print a photo. I'm not doing anything. Different. I'm not changing anything. I do need to turn my white off, but we're not gonna give them that, that support. So that shirt is complete. In terms of production. Wow, that looks good. Yeah, I can do probably 20 or 30 one-sided shirts an hour. Yep. So, and my average customer makes between eight to 15 to $20 an hour or per, per shirt, shirt, sorry. So that'll give you an idea of what you can do output. Let's go ahead, well. And I'll just, I'll just add in, we did a survey um, late last year in the Custom Apparel Startups Group. Mm -hmm. Most of our customers during their startup phase, first 90 days, they sell about 300 shirts a month. So if you're making even 10 bucks a shirt, yeah. the math is great on these things. Yes. And that's not including pairing it with, with the other item that Holly's working right, with. Right, because anything small, and we can look at um, some of the things later, anything that you can gang sheet, and I can get multiple things on a sheet, like we said, the, the 11 by 17 is like $375, $4. The 13 by 19 runs about six fifteen for a full printed sheet, but that's a massive sheet that you can get you know, multiple either back designs, left yep. logos, or whatever on. Um, it's probably ready to peel. I was gonna show you how, because this is something that you do. So I just actually grabbed just an X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna kind of punch, just because the toner is still connected to the sheet, I don't wanna rip it you away. Don't peel it. Right, um, but I'm just gonna do that on the toner. So um, while you're doing that, Hillary's got a question. She's asking if 40 to 60 washability is how long that shirt would last. I mean, I've got some, it, it's not that it will last. It's just depends. I mean, I've got some that I've washed hundreds of times and they, they're cracked. They age like a stream print. Um, I think we're good. Okay. So, well, maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to print the paper. We're not gonna I get impatient. I've got a, if you ever wonder why one of these comes in your little 
thing. It's for things like this and people with ADD like me. That it's a cooling you, uh... pack, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So um, about washability, for example, like um, a lot of that depends on. Do you want to show the screen? Yeah, I was going to. Okay. So go to. Actually, I don't need to. I'm just going to print on cardstock. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I just need to print it's it. It's just so. a regular printer. Yeah. Um, so the um, we we're talking about washability. So I'm in the middle of a wash test right now for some of our DTG prints. And most people, when they do wash testing, what they're going to do is, um, I'll look at you guys while I talk. So what you're going to do is you're going to wash it according to the optimum instructions, which is what I did. And that is turn it inside out, wash it in cold water, gentle, and hang dry. So when you see these, you know, when you see claims of 50 or 60 or 100 washes, that's what they tested. They did not throw it in with the football uniforms, you know, and not turn it around. So, you know, real world, it's going to vary. And it's also going to vary by the quality of the t-shirt. So if you get a really good high quality t-shirt like the DT-104, um, then it's going to wash for longer than if you got like a cheaper Gildan or something. Yeah, like a, the priest, uh, priest, is it priest spun? Ring spun. And, Ring spun uh, cotton. And, uh, yeah, or this does great yeah. on um, on 50-50s or 100% polys too. Yeah, fit, actually I have customers that swear by 50-50. They say that holds up the absolute best. Um, I just took the, the cutout out of the frame and I'm just going to trace it. Thanks, Scotty Baseball. And then I just cut this out. Arts and crafts. Uh -huh. By the way, while she does that, B said uh, he got a DT-104 from us, and it's been his test shirts, and uh, he puts it in the dryer ever since last August, and it's still alive. Yeah, they, they do. They last. Let's see. OK, let's see if we're ready. I think we're ready. Didn't like that corner, but there we go. That That's second it. press to get it. I peeled that a little too early because I got too anxious. That's the thing about wood. You got to let it cool for a while, but I'm going to throw it back in for my second press. Yep. And it'll clean it up. Crank it way down because that wood is a little thick. So this again, I'm going to finish on a high pressure. This this sheet will also give it just a little bit of a textured look, which is cool. So I like that look. And then. Very nice. Some of these edges I can clean up and stuff too. I just, you guys get the point. Um, and then now my little picture that I just cut out. We'll slide right in there. And now Dylan has a frame, a picture, <laughs> and that's a gold awesome. t-shirt for his birthday. Happy hey, birthday, that, Dylan. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great thing. <laughs> All right, so um, that was great. Um, any final questions, you, you guys type it in. I just wanted to remind everybody um, what we did today, which was we did an embroidered sneaker uh, with his name on it for Dylan. We did a couple of direct to garment printed shirts for Dylan. We got this sign that goes up out by the mailbox so everybody knows it's his birthday and it's time for a party. And uh, Holly there did a t-shirt and a picture and a frame. So Very cool. uh, yeah, I wish I knew this kid, I'd go to his party. I know, right? All right, thanks everybody, have a good night.